Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review. This is Raquel Welch opening act in the color RL10-12, which is also known as Sunlit Chestnut. This is an adorable style with heat friendly fibers, a full mono top, lace front. If you wanna know more about this and see this color outside and inside, then stick around and I will cover it all for you. I am actually very surprised by how much I really like this style. It is such a cute, sassy style. Not my typical style, but it is really adorable. So I can't wait to tell you all about it. And this color is really beautiful. So let's take a look at this from all sides. It is it's just sassy. That's the word that comes to mind when I see this. I look at myself in this mirror over here and I just want to play with it. I want to style it. It is really, really fun. Now, this is a heat friendly wig and I know that heat friendly can be really scary to people who are new to the wig journey uh, because they do require some additional care that regular synthetic doesn't. But this length is such a great length if you are going to explore heat friendly fibers, they are so easy to care for in this length. You do have to take heat to it periodically. I have a video where I show you how I do that with my heat friendly wigs. You can use a hair dryer, you can use a, a round brush, you can use a steamer, you can use a straightener. Just putting a little bit of heat on the ends really helps a lot, but you won't have to do it a whole lot with a wig this length because it doesn't really rub up on your clothing. But if you're new to heat friendly wigs, I encourage you to go watch that video I will link it in the description below and I will just tell you guys my personal preference right now where I am in my wig journey which does evolve and change is if I'm going to get a piece that's chin length or above and it's straight I actually prefer heat friendly fibers to regular synthetic I think that they are a lot more realistic feeling and they are a lot more realistic looking. Heat friendly wigs don't tend to have the shine that some regular synthetic wigs can have. I really truly, when I see them side by side, I love heat friendly fibers. So if you've never tried heat friendly and you like shorter styles like this, don't be afraid of this one just because it has heat friendly fibers. That's all I'm gonna say on the topic, but I used to be terrified of them and I wouldn't buy them, and I missed out on some beautiful styles early on because I was afraid of them. Well, no more. I'm learning how to deal, and I'm learning which I prefer and which type. All right, this piece has a full mono top and a lace front, so you can actually part this one anywhere on the top of your head or part it in the center, part it to the right, part it to the left. You can do styles where you actually um, maybe do like a top knot or something and you have a part on both sides. But this one is going to be so fun because you can play with it however you want. And just look, even when I do that, so I just parted it to, I have a mirror over here, it just helps because my little phone, I can't see very well in my camera little window. Um, but look at how much that changed up the style. Just tucking it a little bit and shifting the part. One of the beautiful things about a wig like this is, let's say you don't have the budget to own a lot of different wigs. You can do some styling and change up the style and feel like you've got a whole new wig. So that's really fun with this. So you can do all of that. Um, let's take a look at this cap just so that you can see what I mean in case you're wondering what a full mono top really is. This is a full mono top, so you can part it anywhere up here. So this whole section, this also has a lace front and the lace actually goes all the way to the ear tabs, which is so great because it gives you a lot of styling flexibility. You've got the soft ear tabs with the bendable stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, really, really standard uh, Raquel Welch cap. It's wonderful, it's super comfortable. This wig, I would say, has a light to moderate density. It isn't super light density, but because of all the layers, 
it doesn't feel heavy. There's a, there's a good amount of hair like right up in here, but it's not heavy. It's not hot. Um, it really doesn't have much permatease. There's a tiny bit of permatease right in here, which I think you would expect in a style like this, because in order to achieve a style like this, you need a way to get volume in the crown. So if your bio hair was cut like this, you would be taking a round brush and a hair dryer to your crown to achieve a little bit of lift here, maybe doing some back combing. So on a wig like this, they put a little bit of permatease there to mimic that, but there isn't any permatease on the sides here. No permit, well, they've got the monotops, so there's no permatease here, but all of this is very realistic and you just get a little bit of lift here, which really, really makes this style super, super cute. This lace front is really good. Raquel Welch is just so excellent at their lace fronts. And what I love is because this is a darker color, often you can see knots, you cannot, because they take some of the lighter, the 12, and they bring it up. Now, this lace front right here is a little bit long for me and it's a little bit light for my skin tone. If you experience that with a lace front, these are considered ready to wear where you shouldn't have to do anything to the lace front. Well, if you get one that you think you can see, like on this one, I feel like it's obvious. So what I would do is I would trim it and that will take care of the, that it's too light for me and that it's a little bit too long. I have a video where I show you how to cut a lace front. So if you're new to that, you can go watch that video. I'll try to remember to link it in the description. That way, if you ever experience something like this, all is not lost. You can absolutely deal with it. This wig fits me like a typical Raquel Welch. I think they run very true to average, sometimes slightly bigger than average. And I have to cinch this one in a little bit for it to fit me comfortably. And I have a 22 inch circumference. So I am average on my circumference and I have to cinch this in. I am very petite over the top of my head and I do have extra cap up here. So I would say this is going to fit anyone solidly average, even up to an average large. There's tons of stretch on this one. This is going to fit you. So I think this one is going to fit a wide range of people. But if you have a petite head, this might be a little bit big on you because it's a little bit big on me. And I get great coverage. So you can see here are the ear tabs. I love it when ear tabs fall. I actually like them a little bit further down for coverage purposes, but it's comfortable and it allows perfect tucking and glasses wearing, at least for my measurements. That will vary depending on your measurements. All right, before we talk about this color, can I just throw a headband on and show you how much fun it would be to style this one? So. One of the things I love about short wigs like this is that I think they look adorable with headbands. And I love these headbands. So I have a whole lot of different headbands that look like either they have bandana tied around or this looks like a, a scarf, but they just you just stick them on and you're good to go. They're not tight. They don't squeeze my head. They fit perfectly with wigs. They don't give me headaches. I just love it. So I really think this one is gonna be so fun. You're gonna be able to do tons of styling with it. And if you aren't the headband type, you can also take bobby pins or claw clips and just do little twists here and there and really style this one up super cute. It is really fun. All right, let's talk about the color. Sunlit Chestnut. I did not know what to expect when I saw the name of this color. So it's definitely a medium brown and the color codes are actually 10 and 12. A 10 is a, a medium light brown and a 12 is a light brown. This is actually a little bit darker than I expected it to be given the color codes. They have done a great job of blending the two colors. So it's not like highlighted or anything like that. They do take that lighter 12 and do a little bit more up at the front so that you don't see any dark knotting. There is no rooting, so this is not a rooted color. I would call this a medium, a neutral medium light brown. It's not blonde, it's not super light brown, 
but it's very neutral. So I don't see any red in here. It's not giving me warm vibes. It's just a very natural looking medium light brown. As a matter of fact, this actually looks like it could be someone's natural hair color. Someone who has healthy hair, um, it does look very, very natural. So if you're looking for a color that's not too dark, but is definitely a brunette and doesn't call attention to your hair like you went to a salon for it, you don't want anybody asking you, where do you get your hair colored? Because you don't want anybody paying attention to your hair. I know there are a lot of you out there who just want to blend in with their wigs. You don't want any extra attention. This is such a great color. I really think this looks very natural like you grew it and you didn't have anything special done to it. It is really pretty though. But if you like dynamic colors, you like highlighted colors, this doesn't have any of that. So I wouldn't, you know, I'd probably steer you away if, because you're gonna, because it is really well blended and it doesn't look like you've got a lot um, of different colors going on with this one. Can you guys tell? I just am having so much fun. I love styles like this. I love to zhuzh them up. I love to tuck them. I love to style them. It is a really, really fun one, you guys. All right. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside and let me know if you have any questions about it. It's a really fun piece and I am excited to show it to you. So let's get outside. All right, everyone. We are outside with Sunlit Chestnut. Bright sunshine. You can probably see, I can't see, it's too bright to see in my phone, but you can probably see how, what I was referring to when I said it's very well blended and very natural. Like I said, no rooting. So pretty though. Very neutral. Not ashy, not really warm. Good. Just a great medium light brown. More medium in my eye. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys.